Hi and welcome back to another video of Medic Notes. This video is on hepatojugular reflux. During abdominal examination, pressing firmly over the right upper quadrant, which is the liver area, causes the jugular venous pressure, JVP, to become more obvious and sometimes visibly higher. A positive hepatojugular reflux is present if there is an increase in JVP of more than 3 cmH2O for longer than 15 seconds. This hepatojugular reflux can occur due to any cause of right ventricular dysfunction, either systolic or diastolic dysfunction. The causes include heart failure and volume overload, elevated right ventricular afterload, and core pulmonale. For its mechanism, putting pressure on the right upper quadrant assists in venous return to the right side of the heart via the inferior vena cava. In patients in a stressed or a pathological state, venoconstriction also leads to peripheral veins being less compliant or flexible than normal. Therefore, any additional venous return is likely to lead to increased pressure, such as central venous pressure, exemplified by a raised JVP. In addition, the increased volume of blood returning to the right side of the heart, is met with raised end systolic and diastolic pressures in the right atrium and ventricle, due to right-sided dysfunction. Such as dilated right ventricle restricted by pericardium in constrictive pericarditis, or pre-existing high filling pressures in the setting of heart failure and venous blood and pressure is backed up into the jugular veins. The right ventricle cannot accommodate additional venous return. This is a flow chart showing how hepatojugular reflux occurs. When there is an infarction, congestive cardiac failure, constrictive pericarditis, or core pulmonale. There is raised venous tone and right ventricular dysfunction. When pressure is added onto the abdomen, this increases venous return. The right ventricle and venous system is unable to cope with the increased venous return. There is higher venous pressure, causing the veins to be dilated and stay elevated, hence the positive hepatojugular reflux. That's all for this video. Thank you.